Hi Scorpio, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm gonna be taking a look at the person on your mind and what they're hiding from you. I'm gonna pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight. At the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person. These are going to be things that you might wanna hear, things you might not wanna hear, answers to questions you possibly have. We will get that at the end. This is general, it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read now with that being said let's go ahead and jump right in person on scorpio's mind show me what they're hiding from scorpio please wow um Person. There is something about this person feeling a loss and not over this. It feels like it's something that keeps replaying for them and they're very drawn to this loss, grieving. It could be financial. Okay, it could be financial struggles. It could be like this person had everything going in their life and they were very successful and then something happened. Um, but feeling a loss and things changed where... You know, things were going really good, but that has changed. And, and they're now, it's like they're trying to manifest things, getting back to um, where they used to be. Some of you, this is a financial situation. Others, it could be they're missing you or they're missing somebody else and not telling you that they're struggling and going through this. But we do have the Five of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and the Ace of Wands, as well as the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I do have um, Virgo energy as well as Capricorn energy and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a little and a little bit of... Did I say Virgo? Yeah, I said Virgo. And a little bit of Taurus energy that comes out so far. So we're going to find out what this loss is, if it's it's more like you um, or, I mean, I'm feeling like a multitude of things in your reading, Scorpio. Maybe they're going through everything all at the same time, but um, things have changed and it's hard for this person financially, I guess, um, or just feeling that loss. They feel left out in the cold. They're hiding that they're left out in the cold. They could also have nowhere to go. Their family abandoned them. They could be hiding abandonment issues. And this is something that they've never healed from. It's something that, um, keeps going and playing in their mind. And they really want things to be um, good between them and their family, but they never have that. Oh, so hard. Let's go ahead and clarify this five of pentacles. There's a lot coming out in this reading. Yeah, the hangman comes out like reflecting on what to do, feeling left out in the cold, isolated, um, not knowing how to come in from the cold, but yet the lights are on in this church right here. They're just like, I don't know what to do and I'm out here and I can't figure it out and just um, feeling in limbo, the justice card at the bottom of the deck, the hangman coming out as well. Um, so I do have Libra energy and Pisces that comes out for this. They are in limbo about making things. I feel like they're going through even legal issues. This does feel closely related to they um, might be facing a lawsuit or a judgment that they had uh, to pay, meaning like they owe somebody money and there was a ruling in court, uh, maybe on a civil case or something like that, and it cost them half their money or it's, it's something they can't help. And especially with the justice system, even maybe um, taxes, financial issues with taxes or, oh my gosh, everybody, right? Inflation of everything. Um, we don't need to get into that. I want to make this as happy as we can make it. But, you know, this is what this person is hiding from you is their struggles of this situation and feeling this loss and very much in limbo and trying to get things balanced back out, but feeling like they keep falling into this karmic cycle of things aren't changing for me. I don't know what to do. Um, let's go ahead and clarify that wheel of fortune in reverse.
for some, they feel like they're going to lose their place. This is really heavy. Wow. They're going through, yeah, and if it's not their place, like I said, you know, uh, home, like where their home is, um, even a relationship, you know, feeling a loss of somebody trying to get, did this person go through a loss recently and they've been telling you that they're fine? Because if they're telling you they're fine, they're, they're not, they just need to be, you know, they need you to check in on them without telling you if that makes sense they it's almost like they want you to recognize that they're hurting without them saying anything because they don't want to burden you but it would be nice for this person if they had somebody who noticed um wow it's really heavy this is a very very heavy reading um I feel like you've been wondering what is going on with them as well and they've just been very off um, and if it's financial, like where luck was on their side, things have changed and they're not they're feeling like they're hitting rock bottom, that like they're going through this cycle, this karmic cycle of things not being so good right now, maybe at home, um, for ones or in their home life, um, starting over. Also, like I said, this person, um, is feeling like they're going to lose their place and maybe starting over from the beginning here, um, with this ace of pentacles if this is missing you as well i know i'm sorry there's so much that's coming out in your reading but if this is them feeling like for some time they've been missing you and don't know what to do and wanting you back you know they want to start over but it's at the beginning of them planting that seed of hope that things will turn around um but they're just it's at the beginning it's like okay this is what i want but now I got to draw out the plan and then I got to, you know, put it into action and they're not there just yet. They're right at the beginning. Um, this even feels like they lost their job. They've gone through a finance, like I said, financial situation, taxes or um, some kind of, you know, legal situation that has cost them financially. Um, let's go ahead and clarify this ace of wands. Yeah, they're manifesting success and being like draped in gold. Okay, so this is what they're really focused on right here is I'm um, taking my ideas. I'm going to make it happen. They're really manifesting, but also trying to ground themselves with I'm going to make this happen. Yeah, see, they're very action oriented. Um, it's just they're going through a tough situation. If they have been distant from you and they've been telling you they're busy with work or something, they don't want to they don't want to burden you with all of this and yes they are definitely manifesting um coming up with new ideas manifesting things that uh, will be very very um successful and this person is pretty self-made but they are putting things into action here if this is a relationship and this person wants to fix things with you they are feeling the draw to you to make things work and wanting to and expect fast communication from this person um reaching out to you so I have uh, a quick, not Aquarius, sorry, but maybe you are dealing with Aquarius, it just came out. But I do have a Virgo, Taurus energy, um, Aries, and a little bit of Sagittarius that came out. Let's go ahead and get some messages from this person. So, give me three messages plus one bonus message from this person on Scorpio's mind. Yeah, there's a, there's a, okay. Okay, so there's a couple of different things that come out, um, which tells me this just corresponds with the different stories that are coming out in your reading and messages coming out in your reading. So I know I messed everything up. This is something where they are feeling as they feel like they've messed up in their life. They feel like they've messed everything up with you. They just, they feel like they keep messing up and it really bothers them. Um, just being near you is intoxicating. This is something that they think of. That tells me that somebody who misses you wants you back, but feeling like they're at a low point right now and nothing's really going right. Um, they're like, when I'm around Scorpio, oh my gosh, Scorpio makes me feel like on cloud nine. Ooh, Scorpio. <laughs> 
some of you are like they don't deserve it <laughs> so but yeah just being near you is intoxicating also just being near you is intoxicating in a way that they feel like you are like home to them you make them feel good so even if they are going through a, a rough situation um they feel like they've messed everything up maybe even financially or going through some tough situations and feeling like it's reflecting onto you they feel like they're messing things up with you but when they are around you they feel safe they feel secure they feel invited um and it makes them feel like they're at home and that's that's really sweet so the timing just wasn't right for us okay and this might be something that they have told you ha or plan to tell you because they don't want to tell you about what they're going through financially, legally, um, maybe having a loss where they're grieving the loss of somebody and trying to just rebuild themselves. And it does feel like even possibly a mother or someone who's like a mother figure to them, um, a really close friend, someone they just really bonded with. Um, and that's what they feel they need to focus on. And they might say this, you know, right now is just not the right time for us. If they end up telling you that, and that might not be the situation where this person being near you is intoxicating when be with you, they do that, but they could, you know, um, sometimes people who really want to be close to another person and love somebody or, or feel, you know, good in their presence can also feel low. Like I'm just bringing this person down, you know, they're amazing. And that's not just something that people say when people say you're really amazing and I'm just at a point in my life where I don't know what I want or I don't know what I'm feeling or I'm going through something rough they are and those people when they say that and they can't explain it it's because they see the other person as this vibrant light and so happy and joyful and amazing and how they're feeling is not like that. And they feel like they will taint that other person's energy and they don't want to do that. And it's, it's better to, I guess, for some people to say it as little as they can in that way, which really, if they just opened up and said, this is what I'm going through and it's really rough and I just need some time alone, great. But people just don't always do that. Um, I left when I saw you with someone, so... For some of you, what was that about? <laughs> okay, so if they saw you with someone, was it a friend, colleague, nobody at all? Was it even anybody at all? It's kind of like um, someone assuming before they actually get the answers, you know? And, you know, what if you walked by someone and you're, you just casually conversated and they took it wrong? you know that's on them and they feel they messed everything up and that you were amazing and you know, it's just they let their emotions get the best of them and then tried to tell you like the timing wasn't right but really that's what it was about okay for some of you and you came closer than anyone so maybe getting them to settle down be in a relationship or you know commit in some way or be close to you open up as well i feel like maybe you came closer than anyone to get them to open up about their feelings as well this person you know they just got some things going on in their life and it feels really hard and heavy and it doesn't really feel like it's about you it's just things that are projected in your way does that make sense hopefully it does um you know, sometimes whenever people are feeling a certain way or feeling down, they can say things and project their feelings onto others or it's just, it's, it's difficult and this person needs some time with what they're going through. I hope they talk to you about it and if they don't, you know, what can you do? Yeah, all you can do is what you can do and, and control and everything else. You just got to leave it to God, universe, and let things just flow naturally and if it's meant to be and come back to you, it will. Um, but this is what I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you everybody so much for being so patient. Um, your videos got out later than anticipated just because uh, as you saw in the post, but if you, some of, some people don't read the post, so I'm just like, I'll put it out there. Um, all of my last eight videos were distorted and they just were staticky. Uh, 
I was very frustrated. I was like, okay, I gotta calm down and redo all of this because I can't be frustrated and do your readings. It wouldn't come out right. Um, they were really good, but that's okay. This was a really good reading and I feel like this one um, definitely covered more than what the last one did. And it's closely related to what that last reading was that was distorted. However, this went further into depth of the situation. So I'm glad maybe it just worked out that way for a reason you know, that you needed more answers. So this is what I have for you, Scorpio. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you all in your next video. Coming up, have a good rest of your day. Bye.